All right, we're gonna take the aerial ride at Grizzly out for a spin today. Today's high is 75 degrees, so perfect riding weather. We got two full batteries on the Grizzly, so we should be able to get quite a bit of range. You wish it could be as cool as this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Oh man, this bike is so powerful. So I really wanted to talk about something in this video today. I've been trying to think about things that I would like to be added to this bike. Some features that I would like to see in the next version of the Grizzly. But first we're gonna go and just show you how beastly this bike is on hills. Yesterday I went out and took the GPS and got the reading of the grade on these hills and I believe this was like a seven or eight percent grade on this road. Then we have a 10 percent grade and then we have a 12 percent grade that we're gonna go on. So this is about six to eight percent roughly all the way through. And this is really gonna help me judge like how well bikes do on this grade of a hill. I finally found some decent hills to, to ride on. And the Grizzly will just tear it all up because of how much power it has. Got to remember to switch that to the uh, rear motor when you're going slow or your front tire will spin out on you. Always got to use this switch for different modes. When you're climbing hills, you want it in dual motor, but when you're riding in a neighborhood or you're going to be going slow and turning and speeding up, you want to have just the rear motor on. Now right here is the 10 to 11% grade hill. We're going to go down it and turn around and go back up it from a dead stop and I'll switch it in the dual motors once we stop spinning or at a point where I feel like we're not gonna spin and the importance of having the grade or you guys having the grade reading is so you can tell just how steep this is when you're looking at it on the video with the ultra wide lens uh, you're not going to be able to really tell how how steep it is. We're going to stop at this sign here where it starts to become an incline. This is kind of where I'm going to start doing all of my testing. But we're going to start out throttle only. And then once I feel comfortable where I feel like it's not going to spin as much, I'll kick it in the dual motors and you'll just see how much speed it picks up right away. So again, this is about a 10% grade roughly. I had to stop there for just a second. And we're doing 23 miles per hour, 24 miles per hour up this hill. Not bad, not bad. Now we're gonna go to the 12% grade, which is over here. Now one big feature that I wish the Aereo Rider Grizzly had, and I hope they implement in the next version, of course I'm gonna give my feedback to Arda, but I'd like to see turn signals. We got it on the X-Class now and the Kepler. I'd like to see it on the Grizzly. I'd like to see better turn signals though. It would be nice to have some kind of indication that your blinkers are still on. You're gonna have a tendency of forgetting that you have the turn signals on. So it would be real nice if there was a way that you knew that they were on. Some bikes have indications on the screen, that's really nice. But if there was just any way to know that you had the blinkers on, then you wouldn't have to worry about keeping track on your switch here if you had a blinker switch. This bike doesn't have any, so. Next thing I'd like to see in the Aerial Rider Grizzly, a better kickstand. The kickstand that are on these electric bikes are usually just like bicycle kickstands. 
Now the e-moped bikes, especially the ones with dual motors and dual batteries and all that, the more you add, the more weight there is. I'd like to have a better kickstand so that when I park the bike and I'm, you know, like just chilling at the park or going to grab lunch and I, you know, need somewhere to sit, I'd like to be able to sit on my bike and eat or sit on my bike and just look at directions or look up something on the internet if I needed to. It would be really nice to be able to do that without feeling like you're going to fall over or the kickstand is going to break. So if they could add a better kickstand, more robust, I think that would be excellent. Number three, of course, this is something that I know a lot of you would be really excited about, and that would be convert to the 60 volt system. Of course, we all want more power, right? And I've seen so many comments nowadays saying that Aerial Rider needs to up their game and go to 60 volt. And um, I would agree with that to some extent, though we all know regulations are coming down the pipeline. I don't know exactly how or why or when or where they're gonna do that, but I'm hoping they never do. Or if they do, I'm hoping that it's not painful for all of us. 60 volt would be nice on the next version of the Grizzly for sure. So number three, I would definitely like to see some increased performance on the new Grizzly. All you guys that are fans of Aerial Rider e-bikes would definitely like to see a performance boost. I have seen some samples of the next version of the Grizzly and I will say that it is definitely something you guys are going to be interested in. They are working on something behind the scenes and uh Lucky for me, I get to see that stuff before any of you, and I will be passing that information on to you as soon as they allow me to release that information. Just be excited for the future of Aerial Rider because uh, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. The uh, company is doing good. They're selling bikes. They're not having any problems with staying afloat. So the fourth feature I would like to see added to this bike would be cruise control. I love cruise control. I think it's an amazing feature that you can have that ability to just coast, hang on, and then, you know, if you hit the brake, it kills it, like in a car. But having cruise control, not necessarily automatic, but maybe you push and hold this button over here, or there's a special button for it on the throttle. I think it would be really neat to have that option. Now, that does pose some concerns for safety in some regard so i know why some companies don't have that i just wish that the grizzly had cruise control especially when you're cruising along at 35 miles an hour if you didn't have to hold the throttle the whole time i would be really excited about that all right here we are this is the 12 percent grade hill and it gets pretty steep up here but I don't think you'll even be able to tell with the Grizzly. The last bike I rode up this hill only did six miles an hour. <laughs> Throttle only. So if that tells you something, the pure power that this bike has, that's ridiculous. Now, for the last feature that I think they should add to this bike is the ability to add better tires at checkout. So if you want to customize your bike and be able to you know, add more options or change things or do what you want to do. Now, I know that for a retail standpoint, that might be something that might be hard to figure out the logistics on, but if we had the ability to swap out parts on the checkout process on their website, change tires, put a better quality tire on here, maybe something for the street where it's not so loud. So something like that where we could customize our bike when we go through the checkout process. I know you guys would appreciate buying some better tires with your bike. 
you would probably just go ahead and pay the extra money to get better quality parts. I think if we had the option to swap some things out with checkout, I think Aerial Rider could benefit from that as well. So if there's any features you'd like to see or any uh, upgrades or something that isn't even out yet in the e-bike market that you think is possible that could be created and added to a bike, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section. I'll be down there talking to you guys as always. So please leave your comments down below if there's uh, any ideas that you have for the next version of the Aerial Rider Grizzly. My name is Randy. This is Randy Rides. We review all kinds of electric bikes on this channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.